for you. Come on, for the come up. All you good at is you. Come on, for the come up. They lift a nigga down, but I had to come up. And I was looking back down into the sun. I had to switch up, nigga. No, I ain't mad at you. I just had to come up and look at just what that bag of do. I charge into the game, cause I said I won't complain. Ain't been no sunny days, I had to get it out the rain. Look. What's going on? Back to the game with your boy the Prophet. Hey yo, man. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so we got some little some news from the homie Soul Dex. Shout out to the man Soul Dex the GOAT. I always want to make sure I'm gonna let you guys know if you're not a Patreon of the man Soul Dex, if you want to support BBS, support Soul Dex. Because he does a lot for this game. Alright, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the banners that we have upcoming that have been um, data mined. So, Guild Quest Selection. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but No Affiliation Guild Quest does officially start next week, which is October 4th. So, um, that being said, they're releasing this Guild Quest Selection with No Affiliation Characters, with No Affiliation Killers, excuse me, to kind of lessen the blow. Alright, so... For right now, oh, also, and then the Sinkaimon Cave of Diligence, uh, this banner has been announced as well. So, Ginzuru is returning on a banner as well as Redux Tosh. Now is the time. Obviously, Redux Tosh is going to be in this banner, and then Ginzuru is going to be in the Sinkaimon banner. So, for instance, a lot of you guys were wondering about the 5th anniversary characters. When will they come back? Well, to put it into perspective, Ginzuru... And this Toshiro came out about four to five months ago. And they're just now being put as um, as fillers. So keep that in mind. That's generally about the period. And one character, they'll separate the two. So you have to summon for separate banners to get one of the two. But yeah, um, I have every character on this banner from what I've seen. Uh, let's see. So... Fillers of the Guild Quest selection. Kid Biaki, I have him. Sumsu Yoruichi, have her. Spirit Society Grimjow, have him. New Year's Ichigo, have him. And Halloween Maruka. So, Halloween Maruka is the only one on this list that I don't have. I personally have a 3 of 5 Mugetsu. Uh, and I think this Tosha is 3 of 5 as well. As well as 2 of 5 Rangiku. I have a 5 of 5 3rd Anniversary Ukiyora. So, I'll be fine for this guild quest out of all those characters. The only one transcendence I'm going to actually work on will be Mugetsu. Um, he's already 555, so it'll be less of an investment to, you know, um, to to get his stats up versus anybody else's. So, that's just me personally. Um, I know some people are probably going to be summoning on this because they hate struggling on particular guild quest weeks. All in all, all these characters are like, all these characters have been... Fillers, like, kind of a grotesque amount of times. Like, this Spirit Society Grimjaw, he's been a filler on some key-ass banners. So, yeah. Each, hit, shit, even him being a uh, filler on the Spirit Society Biaki banner when it first came out, both times was major. So, um, yeah, I have him 3 or 5 as well. So, I have a lot of these no affiliation characters 3 or 5. Uh, this banner, this in Kaimo selection, Machine Society Izu. Uh, Fullbring Aizen, Christmas Soyphone, Christmas Nanao-chan, and Halloween Gein, along with Redux Tosh, MS, I mean, um, excuse me, Machine Society Tosh, Ginzuru, and Amaga. I mean, like I said, guys, to be quite frank with you, I would save all of my orbs. I know, like, if you need some for a specific floor of St. Kaimon or... You know, something like that. I can maybe see, but don't go to step, don't go beyond step five on none of these banners. Like, I would really implore you not to. Also, something that's pretty major, like a kick in the balls to a lot of people. Um, summer Resort characters. And then now it's coming back. Now, I mean, Apache's coming back, excuse me. I'm in an interesting position because my Nemu is 4 or 5 and I stopped on her solo banner going for her. So I don't I don't think I'm going to summon on this. My plan for Nemu was to try and get her next year with my choose her 6 star. Hopefully that was kind of my plan. 
But um, if I don't get her 5 of 5, I won't be all the way pressed. I am prioritizing 5th anniversary Ichigo. I'd much rather have, you know, even two more dupes of him than getting a 5 of 5 Nemo. So, um, yeah. A lot of you guys, if you just summon for Apache or if you didn't... I mean, if you're summoning for Nanao and you didn't get her and you... It's like, I wouldn't really summon on this banner because we do have 5th anniversary Ichigo and Apache now. Is, Apache is better than Nanao, though. I will say. She's going to help you clear better for guild quest because a lot of people have uh, blue kenpachi who he's in a spotted killer booster as well um so yeah and you can build him for like last ditch or something if he dies as soon as he comes back he'll be able to boost the team again but yeah apache is going to be able to just clear mobs faster because of her truly superior second strong attack so yeah keep that in mind apache is better of the two but yeah some resorts summons coming back um looks like Hollow looks like this might be the next guild quest, but we'll just stay tuned for that. All in all, I would skip all these banners. I don't know particularly where you guys are, you know, in your Senkai mode or, you know, what gives you trouble with, you know, uh, progression in the game. All in all, like I said, man, I would I would skip both these banners, for real, for real. Um, like I said, shout out to me, Soul Dex, for, for working so hard for the, for the homies, for the crew. And yeah, I'll go ahead and end the video here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I do love y'all. I'm out.